The clock is gradually ticking down on one of the biggest events in town. The party poker big game has plenty of people talking, plenty watching and a select handful actually putting their reputations on the line. Here in Vienna at the Montesino, reputations can be made and just as easily broken by what happens around this table in this non-stop 48-hour game. Sometimes your destiny lies in your own hands, other times the fall of a card. And here in the big game, it can also rest on the outcome of a vote, either from your fellow players or from fans. It basically has all the right ingredients for a fascinating game. It's made for a fascinating story. The game had passed through a slight pause, just a moment for those around the table to catch their breath, and most needed it. Locke, Torelli, Jungleman, Tony G, and Livia were all in contention, but with mixed fortunes. Three were firmly in profit, Tony G was within touching distance, and the Jungleman was out on a limb looking for a way back in. Tony G showed him the way with a clash against Alec Torelli that saw him move into profit for the first time. Oh boy! And that must have rattled him. Tony G now 12k to the good, but needing to maintain his momentum. For Torelli, it had been a sorry decline. Jungle Man was never shy of trying his luck, but time after time, luck eluded him. He's overbet the pot. Uh, wow. No. Do it for Jungle Man. Wow, Phil Locke's gonna have all the money. It is a sick cooler. Frustration and stalemate were the order of the day. Alec Torelli was really starting to feel the pressure, and Phil Locke was the man most likely to increase his unease. Torelli's not been great on rivers. Nope. Anything? Pair of nines. Okay, I got it. Locke was in the mood to flex his muscle at anyone around this table, and there were plenty of takers. Get oh again. boy. Again. Tony's out of position. Uh, again. <laughs> Tony G sent back into the red and made worse after a clash with Alec Torelli. This is gonna go nuts. <laughs> there it is. Wow. A, a little bit of uh, good luck here for Torelli. It's Torelli, I guess. It's Torelli. Wow. It's Till Torelli. But the best was saved until last, when Carmazinus decided it was time to stand up to Locke. Oh, jeez. Wow, what a, what a wow. bet. Can Locke lose twice? He lost both! Wow. I knew it! I knew it, that's so he sick! He lost both! A sure sign that Locke was vulnerable, and this table wasn't as one-sided as many had predicted. But the next few hours will go a long way to proving or disproving that theory. This is all in play. We got Tony G steaming. We got Phil Lack not in the record anymore. We got the baby face killer from we don't know where, but still we think he's a Scandi. And in our mind he's a Scandi. We got Jungle Man brutally beaten up down 90. We got Torelli steaming. Uh, this this is uh, this is action right here at the big game. Six raids, four hundred, seven call. Half these guys are they don't even know their own names at this table. Four. <laughs> Who do you think the most tired is right now at the table, if there is one? I think it's the masseuse. <laughs> I mean, this woman, <laughs> now to be fair, to be fair, up until she took on Tony G as a client, she had ensured herself a good profit for the week because, you know, 24 hours with the jungle man, yep. like, you know, 18 hours with Trickett. So I'm not exactly feeling sorry for her. But now this Tony G thing, if he goes bust, I mean, she, yeah. I mean, does she understand <laughs> what's going I, on? No, uh, he's going to say, I was joking, man, just... No, it's it's obviously Torelli. I think he said he had four hours sleep, and it's very very tough to sleep. About after the way he lost his money at the right. end, he came in. It's definitely Torelli. Like you're right. 
And he's stuck now. Yeah. He's, He's, uh, he, he's got heavy eyelids. <laughs> he's got heavy eyelids. Yep. <laughs> you can see the whole... It, before, he was, like, fresh, sitting straight. Now he's, like, slumping over the table. Look at that. Yeah, you're definitely right. That's too hot for that he's, he's yeah. Not even close. Looking up articles of, on wisdom on his Blackberry. <laughs> I mean, Torelli, you know, get a grip, man. <laughs> Serious. He was better than 50% to win one or two. I know. <laughs> You're right. He is completely <laughs> dusted just... off like yeah. 50,000. What are you doing? Go to sleep, <laughs> Bobby. Yeah. 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 And if he loses it's the first one, his percentage oh, improves. I think he wants you to get that. Rabbit hunting. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't care. I just want to see. <laughs> Sometimes I like to think about what I would have done if the car comes, you know? He gets like free practice. Now and now he's just rambling about the philosophical implications of rabbit hunting. New player coming in. And this is Daniel Neal. It's a Swede! It's a Swede! I, how much you want to bet he got 44th in the WPT Vienna? <laughs> I actually. Uh, You're sick, Jesse. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not oh, mistaken, uh, I think I know that name. Yeah, quite well known on the EPT, and uh, just passing Please do by. check if he got 44th, because I, 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 I would oh. not know <laughs> oh, for how, sure. how, how possibly it could. You're Phil Lock material, Jesse. You scare me right now. Just like gonna run out of chips. Simply running out of chips. Yeah, Tony is running out of chips, wow. but, but he really just is. because he's spewing them off. And look at his flop. I check. Pick now up. jungle is gonna is gonna kick some. Um, not just that, but do you think jungle? Oh feel Six bad, so we'll feel sympathy perhaps, that this is going to come at the expense of Tony? No do you think, way. Do you think, do you think maybe... He wants to take it for somebody else, but still. Do you think he might find a giggle at the end of this hand <laughs> when Tony explodes, oh, wow. tears up the cards? Tony, Tony just raised him. That's, uh, that's so wrong. He's only got like ten thousand back. Oh yeah, he's shoving. Can you? I mean, it's you it's can, not. No, you shove. Tony always has something here. Either a draw. Tony always has something yeah. here. Yeah. He's either got a draw. Wow, has has he got king ace king beat a lot? No, not a lot. He's got ace king beat sometimes. King jack is definitely in his range in sevens. That's pretty much it. Wow, though. he's actually. No, no, no. Jungleman shoves this. There's no way. It's such a droy board, too. I mean, what, what does Tony do? It. I guess there's no folding equity. I guess there's some. What does equity mean? Like, if, <laughs> like when you push in and the guy like has got like, if you got like deuce nine now of like spades, it's hard. that would take hard to call. <laughs> All this indecision by Jungleman. Now Tony really sounds and looks and acts like he's got it. There's a merging, these, these cars are like merging all together like this, and there's so much merges. Well, you see jungle swinging from the vines, and there's not another vine right there for them to jump into. It's, I didn't, you know. King Queen's probably the weakest sort of hand, obviously. Yeah. It may be the only hand the jungleman has in bad shape. On the other hand, if he does manage to make this call, Tony is going to explode. Yeah, he's going to feel slow. Tony is roll. so confident right yes, now. Yes, he's going to feel slow. He roll. is so happy. Can't wait to get it in. I, 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 he's gonna muck. If he bucks, he's gonna. I mean, this muck. is this, this is, is the difference between Jungle Man having a chance in this cash game and no chance. Yep. As the cards lie. Yep. No, come on. Ah! Oh, come on. That's so painful. That's so painful. That's just so painful. Feels like we're playing tournaments again. No. I don't understand this. Well, it, I mean, he just. You know, he made the calculation, right? That was the only hand that he had in bad shape. Pretty much, yes. 
pretty much yes. But but, but, but he's just but wait gonna, a second, in 29 Jesse. minutes he's gonna be out of this cash game. But wait a second, exactly. He, he's got 10k behind. That's why you buy in short, because you don't wanna agonize about these decision. You think I got the pair top kicker? I'm not even doing the math. It's just I'm just gonna stick it in because I got, you know, I I I bought in for my bullet. Welcome to Vienna for the sixth staging of the big game. A 40-hour cash game set in the Austrian capital. We've crossed the 40-hour mark and entering the home straight, Phil Locke remains the man to beat. Look at the litter board here. It's, it's pure. It's pure. Four You're winners so at right. this table now. Torelli okay. has gotten into profit. Um, wow, he's had some kind of, he's had an adventure today, hasn't he? Yep. Um, and uh, Tony G really slipping now. Really, really slipping. Jungle Man's, as I said, he'll be out of here in I think 11 minutes. 11 minutes. They put billboards all over Russia. You got the numbers right, I think. I, I do believe that it's going to just get up a 10 minute and 40 seconds from now. No, they said, like, yeah. don't be like this man. Yeah, don't you'll be get like caught. Man. Yeah. And that's what it was. Oh, right. Like, yeah, you had gotten caught or something. Yeah. <laughs> How much is it? 300. Okay. Tony can hardly believe it. I called it. How cheap is that? Opened by Ignat, who. <sighs> Wow, he opened this in a, you know, it's a weird hand in a weird spot, really. Yep. Oh, uh, action. Good spot for jungle. That is definitely a good spot for jungle. Come on, jungle. Money should get, uh, definitely money's going to get in here. Come on. Just bet it and, and, and kill them all. I wonder if Ignat uh, plays it fast here or not. I, I don't think he's going to play it fast, to be quite honest with you. He's no, just that why would he? He's just that good. Oh, because jungle raised under the gun? Uh, in a way. I guess he's so short that, I mean, the money's going in anyway. He could, um, so you think it's short enough to shove and see whether some hands... No, are... see, see, I, I knew it. I knew it. I'm, I was positive he was not going to raise this. That's, Ignat is so good. I'm just telling you, it's just... I think Jungleman goes, goes for it again here. I don't... Although, being so short... Ah. That's a tough, it, it sounds weird, but it's a tougher spot now for Jungleman than for uh, Ignat. Explain to me yeah. why. See, he Six checks ten. it back because there's, he's not got, he doesn't have, man, sorry, I'm, I'm getting a little tired here. Um, it, it's tougher in the sense that he, what do you extract value from by betting that kind of turn? Not a lot. I mean, except if you know that Liviu has exactly the 6-8 or the 7-8, all his value hands are, are beating you. And uh, and this is a nice river for him, obviously. He might get looked up by Liviu here. You don't want to back call the 8-9 on that turn. Because right. if you bet call that, your equity is pretty bad at that ah, point. Ah. And uh, so the only hands you're extracting a lot of value from are the 6-8 and the 7-8. That's pretty much it. And it. Everything else kills you. So if you don't, if your opponent doesn't, uh, does it go just bet call? Yeah, Ignate yeah. bet uh, looks like 2,500 yeah, or something. that's and about uh, right. Jungle Man takes it. So if you get it in on the turn, you're, you're, you're pretty much uh, just uh, 25, 30 percenter maybe. Uh, it, it's not a good spot. It's not a spot you want to get into. Um, 
JP's in town. You're in. Thank God, finally. JP. JP's we back. someone that's going to play a hand. This is another really, 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 really to tough player, he tough opponent. He's, he's fresh. He's fresh. Look at him. Yeah. If you remember, Giovanni, <laughs> J.P. Kelly lost against Phil Locke. Um, just a ridiculous stack, uh, something like sixty or seventy thousand in one hand. It was it was one of the two or three biggest coolers that happened in the whole uh, forty hours or so so far. Yep. And there was just nothing he could do about it. He came back from that, won all the money back. On phase. Plus like 30,000 on top. It's crazy. You know, he's... He's, I mean, I've, I mean, I've seen him play before. Yeah. I commentated, I think, a uh, final table that he did somewhere, but I just did not realize how, just how good he is at cash game. And that's that's why the big game is amazing. I mean, well, I remember, yeah. for, for, the, for the people at home, this is like coaching uh, yeah. from the best players uh, cause it's, I mean, on the live stream, you're, you're just getting it all every single hand. You see the game flow evolve, the reasons why players are doing this, and, and you're seeing it in a very skilled, intense format because it's a very deep cash game. So, I mean, there's nothing better than that. JP, hey, welcome to the game, kid. Yeah, I'm back. I was so tired yesterday. I don't even know how you're doing. Well, to be fair, on that, when no one, when the game got down to heads up and then he had to go and it was just me, <laughs> I, decided, <laughs> I decided to go home and then I, I didn't mean to nap, but then I thought, I, I woke up to a guy myself, right? screaming in the room and I was like, thank God, because I forgot to set my alarm. I just rested for a second and I was out. And I forgot Phil Locke is but the guy. So he woke me up and I was like, He's the only guy who has played every hand, every minute of this big game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, from hour number one all the way through he's the big winner and somewhere around nine or ten o'clock this morning everybody quit him nobody wanted to play with him anymore except for uh, Scott Bombstein heads up specialist who came out of the commentary box to challenge Phil to uh, a heads up duel but they played for a while and then even Scott Baumstein quit Phil Locke yeah, he makes it. Uh, I'm sorry, 400 four. is minimum. Um, I thought that's 200 right there. It's, it's yeah. So uh, that one the game had to okay, 400. Okay. break for just an hour while yeah. they found more four, players three, for four, Phil. Four, I just have a feeling you're doing this because you've watched what well, I was doing for the last 20 hours. Yeah, I so, I mean, it's a good play because... <laughs> but I've been calling with these hands too for 20 One hours. One hole. See if I can do it again. <laughs> <laughs> In principle, it's a good play, right? But, yeah, I'm leaking right now, but I might be able to catch him. He does have like 75,000 or a big amount, so maybe it's a call. Not a great flop for either player. Olivia's first to speak. Five check. One check. Check, check. That comes under the heading of a nice card for Phil Luck. Olivia just going to give this up? Five check. One, three, two, eight thousand. Eight thousand seven hundred and fifty. Wow, he just bombed it ridiculously. Eight thousand. <laughs> Crazy. This is Lockean. This is Phil Locke. 8,000 into four. That's the bet. Ignat is ever calling, but he definitely wants to figure it out first. 
See what a spot he's in? He's in such a tough spot. Since I know he doesn't have a flush, I can barrel the next one 40K. Like wham, it doesn't matter if I got it or not. It's beautiful. But he's good, he knows that I'm gonna hit the right frequencies and it's gonna be minus CV from the call, so he lets it go. Top set of aces right there. He just, you know, <laughs> ace king or whatever it was. Top set or ace, ace king. So. That's it, boys. It's bike time. So the game, the big game is eight-handed. The big game is eight-handed. Full. Full table. Lock the doors. Funny here again, opening. King nine uh, clubs, I think. Uh, Ignat calls. Jungle. Now you just want to see the king nine free happen. He's just talking about that hand again. I think the jungle band is. Yeah, he yeah. said I'm an eight percenter there to have the best hand. He just said he, he's just like this That's random right. number. It's I, just, I, it was funny because I, I've obviously was sitting thinking I had an eight and a half. So I'm gonna <laughs> honestly, I want uh, seriously. I don't know. You actually I, had that number in, in your head? Yeah, I was thinking it was eight and a half. Uh -huh. um, so I just want to, uh, I think he probably, there's probably a hand that he dismissed for another reason. <laughs> I'm just going to have to talk to him about that. <laughs> I thought it was eight, eight and a half. Yeah. I mean, close enough. But if it is eight, it's definitely a pass, right? Yeah. Nice card for uh, Ignat. But it's also a, a, a card that hits Tony's range pretty hard. So I think here... He's better off just checking for once. All right, take it, take it. Okay, thank Tony you. Tony just folded wow. kings? Wow. Thank you very he much. Did. He folded kings. Yeah. Wow. He folded kings. What is Jeff? I'm leaving, so you can tell me. Show um, him. Flash throw. Appear and flash throw. No. Tony. Queen. Tony's just blown up. Wow, he's done. The wheels are off. He's done. He's a disgrace. He's a on your bike, Tony. <laughs> on your bike. Tony, how come you've left the table? This got too much. It was fun. Like it was short-handed. I was enjoying it. I was like making moves and playing a lot of hands. And then, if you keep doing it, when it gets full and and these nits come in, lots of nits come in, and then the nits like wait for ace king and they wait for aces and kings and queens, and so you're always behind. And uh, these guys, they want to put the money when they have it. So it's, it's not good, no good for me. Well, you have put in quite a few hours this time around. Yeah, I think I've done a good job. I played a lot. I was, didn't smoke, lost a little bit of money, but I'm still a long way ahead. Yeah, but you certainly kept us entertained, Tony. I'm glad. We had a lot of uh, incidents. We did, yes. And who do you think? Obviously, Phil's only got six hours to go. He's, he, I don't know if he can even talk at the moment. Phil will do it. He will cruise. He's had a boost, so he's fine. Well, you go get yourself something sweet. Thanks okay. for joining in again Seven this four, year. It's great eight, to see four, you. Thank, thank you very much. Tony One G race, on his way out the door, but no real surprise that he's picked Phil Locke as the man to watch. To raise 1,300. And if you are Phil Locke, we have another present for you. It's every time you open the pot, uh, Dominica's Karen Mazinas is going to three bet you again. This is like time number four or five. Yep. Out of uh, and, and and you know what? And you know what? Ignat is going to cold four bet because he's just he knows good like that. Because he just knows yeah, it. Yeah, he's going to cold four bet. Call. Oh, it's called. I, I uh, this one I don't understand. Out of position. On. Really? One four. I was just is he like getting that. tired here? Is he getting one. sloppy? Yeah. Yeah. Truth, yeah. I don't know, him. but I still I can't believe that Tony G just gave him the pot. <laughs> <laughs> that, was <laughs> that was quite funny. That was quite funny. No, it's a, it's it's from the big blind. It's a weird uh, play that's, by that's Ignat, isn't so it? That's so weird. Although it's possible, isn't it, that he. You know, he did cold four about one time, and Karen Mazinas, you know, made a sort of a five. Even, you know, he was even like, the more like the, the more the reason, the, yeah. the more the reason. Okay, to do it. can get him yeah. first. I don't know. This guy's okay. this guy's kind of nutty. Fourteen, one thousand, four hundred. Guys are a little bit nutty. Yeah, maybe he's just gotten backed off a little bit. Maybe you're right. 
maybe he's not up for the fight. Uh, that's what that's what I you see, that's I what you see, isn't it? Yep. That's not, a perfect spot uh, for a cold four bet. He got the ace blocker. He didn't have the stomach for it. I don't think so. And he just thought his hand looked wow. pretty and got a little sloppy. He's he's Man. never called cold called a free bet with such a hand out of position. So that's like when the uh that's like when the gunslinger's hand starts shaking when he's, when oh, he's yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. holding a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got plans. Big raise. That's also kind of weird. That's a big raise. Karmazin is not going anywhere here. He's peeling, a, a, he's at least peeling one off. If not going for, he's nutty that way. He might even go for stacks. It would be bad, but. Yeah, I like the call here, because because they're both very deep. Yeah, it, it, Lebo here is trying to represent a hand that he can actually have. He's trying to let Jack. Jacks, exactly. He's trying to and uh, or a flush draw that just hit. He's gonna take right. it down. He's wow. good. He's gonna take it down. Wow, if he cool. finds the, the the stomach, so that part, was the idea. Yeah. He's trying to represent some Jax. kind of Jax. Wow. Or some kind of strange. Did he check? No, come on, come on! That's such a good card to barrel. Is he scared that? Ah, uh, damn it! He, Carmazina's not scared. Now he's only got ten high. Probably close, you know, outs. He's gonna make a little field bet of like eight k and take it down. Seven k. It doesn't need to be bigger than that. So if, 8, there you go, exactly 8,000. Damn, this kid is good. An insta fold. He didn't find the courage. Karmazin is back on the winning trail, but still a way to go to reach the dizzy heights achieved in previous hours. More to come after the break. Welcome back to the Party Poker Big Game, a 40-hour cash game set in the magnificent surroundings of the Austrian capital. The perfect backdrop to Phil Locke's attempt to dominate this table. There have been a few setbacks, but he still remains the man to beat. Eight hold. One raise, 300. Ace, ace. Ace from space. This game has become a tough game. Yeah, there's, there's, it's, uh, now it's really, really, really tough. I mean, do you know how many, how many eggs Phil Locke has eaten in the last two days? And I mean, no sauce? I mean, seriously. No sauce. I'm Every five hours. I'm talking like three dozen eggs. More. In two days. No, not more. Three. Eight. Every five hours, he told me. He eats three every, eggs. Every five, three. yeah. Okay. I'd like to know if Phil could eat 40 eggs. I bet he couldn't eat 40 eggs. He could train himself, though. On bet 5,000. JP! That's a hell of a flaw for JP. Oh, Phil. What? JP's flopped the joint? Yeah, but Phil bets 5,000. Yeah. Into 29. JP's like, hello. All right. Does he just fly there? Yeah. Now a spade and wow, it's all Phil, sorts of trouble. Wow, could Phil get himself into trouble? We've never really seen anyone call one of his big bomb bets before. Not in the flop. He's going to bet and take it down, I think. Or maybe. What purpose does betting serve right now for uh, JP? Yeah, maybe check back and not a safe river over I'm just, bet. I mean, it, it, what would Locke's betting with nothing? And what, what, what kind of things that have value is he betting with? Yeah, yeah, it is a check. It is a check. Is he betting with, like, big heart draws? Is he betting with... Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. What is he betting? I mean... What, what do you, what can he have? The overbet on that board doesn't, does not make it. 
not any sense, but not a lot of hand, uh, a lot of sense for sure. Wow. He's he's bombing this. He's just, what is he doing? He's just. Phil, what are you doing? Oh wow. He's gonna pass. I'm he's telling you that much. Of course he is. Kelly's gonna pass. JP's got sixty thousand in front of him. How much did he bet? Like thirty k. I think he bet. What? He bet two hundred seventy-five thousand. No. Twenty-one thousand. He had two times the pot. Wow. Oh, you're supposed to do that. He's got to put him on a full house. <laughs> or, or I don't know. This is always. This is never a straight. That's the thing. You know, this is never a straight. This is like a, a big, big, big heart miss. Oh, what is she saying? <laughs> I mean, I think the only conclusion you can come to is that he only overbet air. Isn't it? Wow, he's bet 5,000 to 2,500 on the flop. Check, check. It looks... He's bet 21,000 in the story. The story he's trying to tell here is the one of a set that overbets the pot that's so drawy. Uh, when when he boats up, he goes for the check because he wants the guy to catch up or to go for a check raise. And then on the river, he's hoping for the guy to have an ace or a six to pay him off. And now he bombs it. Or fives. Or fives, why not? <clears throat> wow. Wow! He folded, right? Yeah, he folded. Yeah. I was gonna check, and he's just gonna overbet the river. Yeah. But it wow! Like wow, is cool. right. He's he's like he's like that Dr. Seuss, the cat in the hat, Phil Locke. You know, just spouting poetry and shoving an overbet. Yeah, and eating eggs. It was a chop, guys. Yeah, eat a lot of eggs. I got lucky. And I'm right. blasting my way out no for that salt. fuck. <laughs> standard. Yeah, standard for Phil. <laughs> for, the, for the rest of the world, it's... But I think you do that like a 10 as well. When the hand unravels, you'll see that one too. <laughs> the real yeah. beat for you is the turn. Yeah, yeah the, the beat, that was that the was The turn's a jack, he's just punting, 15. Yeah, that's what I think so. That's, that's the real beat for you. It's a board pair, and it kind of, it kind of feels weird when the board pairs, you know? Yeah, it gave me extra fold big. And it feels like, Phil's not gonna bat. It's the aces, and it's the ball, I, I don't know. Folds, six folds. Phil's call here in the. Um, that was a lucky turn for me. In the small blind. It's rarely open. Just bizarre. He was. Uh, he might have thought that JP was going to squeeze behind him or something. Call. Double belly for Torelli. <laughs> that sounded funny. Double belly buster for Torelli and a gut shot for JP. The thing about Torelli right now is he's his last, like, what is it, 11 out of 12 bluffs have just gone completely wrong. Yep. And yet... He's going to fire again. I mean, uh, actually, no. Unless he goes for free barrels. JP led this. He yeah, called. Yeah, I mean, I know Torelli opened, but... It, l it doesn't it look like... Oh. Oh. That's just punishment. He might call the river bet here if JP makes it small enough. He might. Actually, but what does he beat? Nothing. 8 9, he doesn't beat. 5 6 got there. The ace, somehow weird ace got there. 10, ten has him beat. He doesn't beat anything. That's 1800. He might still call. Doesn't it look a lot like Kelly led a 10, checked the ace? Yeah. Or would he not have yeah. checked? 
Would he not have checked the 10 when the ace come? Oh, that's, that's not going to work. He's wrong. trying to represent the hand yeah, that JP the, yeah, has. Yeah, exactly. 5-6 here. He's trying to represent 5-6, Jack-9. Exactly the hand that JP has. Wow. That's just... Oh. It's so unfortunate. Yeah. And to, this is it works a lot there. I mean, not a lot. It, it works sometimes. JP's like, how much do you have, man? If you've got the 5-6, I'm going to smoke yeah. you. It's not going to happen, but Torelli's got 50,000 back. Oh, he's going to make it big now. He's going to make it like 20. See, that Something if he crazy. was wearing sunglasses and like a Dr. Seuss hat, he could just like go fill that, you know, bomb crazy on him. Yeah. Yeah, he made it fairly big. 15K straight. And now Alec knows that he's not good. Does he know that? Wow. No. Yeah. He just wanted to say, can he have the nine jack here? Yeah, he can yeah, have he it. Yeah, of course he does, every time. <laughs> so JP. JP. He's good. He's so good. Maybe play up to the World Series. And JP here is talking about his plans for the future. He plans to play more online tournament because he suck at him. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, obviously, he doesn't, but he says he needs some training there. And the series are approaching, of course, so that's that's good training. I think you should play in Bobby's room. You would do really good there. And Carmazinas is trying to lure him in to some uh, crazy Omaha game. PLO, I mean. And it's a re-raise with the ace king. Scored by Lacka at <laughs> round 21. This, I'd like to say this could be trouble. Uh, not too much trouble, but some trouble. By the way, JP just got the first walk since the beginning of the big Of course game. he did. <laughs> it's JP. Yeah, that's a horrible, disgusting card for both of them. Can I go check, check? Probably. No. Wow. I, there's no way. I, I've been good. I know it's not my fault. I've been good at reading everybody else. I can predict a lot of the plays. It's just, just no predicting Phil Locke. I, I felt bad at the beginning. I don't anymore. Yeah, I just bet uh, 25K. Jesus. And you know what? I think he's picking the wrong guy. No. I, I think J, JP JP's is folding. He's bat crazy. No, JP's folding. He's bat crazy. He's folding. Oh, man. He's folding. Lock. I think I'm just going to leave the booth. I, I don't know what you say anymore. It's just... But it was Anything that is common sense and what should around. be done in a hand so or said, what well, might be reasonable to do in a hand, it's just, it's out of the uh, window. So you just wow. bomb it. You just bomb it every single time you bomb but it. I mean, he's like, he's playing like 40 over 40 hours now. And he's still so sharp. And he's so sharp. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's look bat, he's no, bat look, crazy. No, look at that. Nice. Look at that. He's it, crazy. It doesn't need any commentary. We can just shut up for half an hour now and let Phil do the talk. And it's like, and JP's the, the third biggest winner at right. the table. And but, rightfully so. But why would you take on JP? Why would you? Doesn't matter. He just wins every single pot. It's, it's just crazy. How do you turn that hand into a bluff? Obviously, oh my god, that was just sick. And I already, I, I can see the people in the forums <laughs> just this. going nuts. Dominique is what? Oh wow, he's got it. He's gonna say he wants, he wants some fun. How much you want to bet a dude's gonna be in the way? It's not. Not this time. Nah. Oh my god. It, it was in the window though. <laughs> oh my god. It was in the window. That's it? That's it. He's Phil's going to lose 60k. He's going, he's Lock going the broke. doors. He's, he's going, going broke. broke. Call. Call? He's going broke. He's going broke. 
A hundred percent. He's going. He's going to lose oh fifty thousand. Oh no! No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. I think. I mean, he might he's just. He's not. What if he bombs it? I promise he's Four not. Diamonds. He checked Four it back. He did not. I checked it back. He he's not going not. broke. Sad over sad. This not? is nuts. Of course he's going broke. He's not. It's gonna go bet. Call. He's bombing it. Oh my god, this is bad. Why Call. is he bombing it? Call. Oh no way. Wow! It happened! He got caught! He got caught! He got so caught! How much he just I think he just lost fifty thousand. He bet it all. Those are, yeah. That was wrong. If I thought you could take the heat, I could have lost more. I was like, should I just do this? Should I just do this? I was like, no, it probably only has ace king. So I guess I get kind of lucky. How much was it? I think it was 30. He got him! 16,050. 16. He, he didn't lose anything in this hand. I mean, a lot, yeah, but. He wow, should be I, I, I thought he lost. I thought no. he was going to lose 50. No. Yeah, I mean, he should have. Wow, he didn't lose at all. He, he lost. For the hand, I mean, seven percent. Wow. He lost twenty k. That's it. Yeah, but that's it. Yeah, that's it. Sooner or later, that's what happens, isn't it? No. So. Next time he bombs it on the queen of spades, try to pick him off. Phil Locke slipping down the leaderboard, but still sitting with nearly a hundred seventy k in profit. Carmazinas on a high and back to his winning ways. More to come after the break. The clock is ticking down in the big game six. This 40 hour cash game is in the final straight and time is running out for those looking to turn losing positions into winning ones and those on top to smash the record books. I mean, there's a lot of really dangerous players here. Yeah, a bunch of them. I mean, this is one of them. Oh, jungle. There you go, jungle. Now it's time for the cold four bet. Yeah. This cold four bet might work. Unfortunately, this is going to, this is probably going to put him on tilt. It's good that it's from the bottom, though, and I like. I mean, I love the size. Is there here. any chance that Dominicus could get a yes, little frisky? Yes. Or Torelli? Wait, what? Tore Torelli's. He's the cold five bet special. He's the cold five bet <laughs> specialist. <laughs> you're, right, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Actually, you're totally right. Oh my God. No, and, and, and it makes a lot of sense it here. It does. I mean. Uh, Karmazin is opening every single and, pot. And, and, and Jungleman's been the, setting yes, this up. Yes, He's yes. done this like, I don't know, five, six times. He's never had anything, really. Torelli might do it. Torelli's pulled the trigger on this play yeah. against Jungleman, I think twice that I can remember. He's going to do it. He is going to oh do it. Oh, my God. Jungleman's, Jungleman's going to be on. It's big. Your finger get burnt. It's big. Your he's finger call. He's got gonna call. burnt. He's gonna call. Oh no! Is he now? He's priced in. Yeah. Well, then it's, he then he didn't count it right, did no, he? No, he did not count it right. Now he's now it's sixty-seven. Yeah. Now it's almost. Now he's getting better than two to one. He made it too big. Yeah, too big. I, I said fifty-five. It's a big difference, right? Yeah, it does. I mean, Kings. mathematically speaking, it does. I'm over but, all the difference. but actually, maybe so Jungle dead. didn't have enough. He needed Jungle to have more like 20 or something. Exactly, that's what I thought. If, if Jungleman had like 22 or 23 behind, that's a good play in general. Yeah, now he calls, of course. He, he made it wrong. He can't fold anymore. And this could be the cow wow. of the Jungle. Oh my gosh! And, and we saw JP fold an ace 10. Yep. Yeah, maybe it's a little too weak. Oh. 
Wait, no. Oh no. my, Jungle could lose both, huh? No, 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 no. enough. Enough's enough. <laughs> enough's enough. No! Wow, I know that. Come on! And now there's two aces oh, left. Oh, damn it. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna look, but I'm, I'm, I'm in good shape. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No, oh, damn time. it. That's just not. Wow, fair. I didn't have it. Fucking hell, that's two tilted. Didn't have what? What's he took? Good shape. What is he doing? Good shit. Good shit. I don't know. Is he not showed his hand? I don't Ooh. think so. I think I won this one. I have a chance. Do you? Yeah. You need an ace jack? No, I have the first one. I told you, I have it. I thought you didn't have the first no, one. No, I said I have it. I told you, I have it. If it comes a jack, I, I, I mean, I, I'm, don't, if it comes a jack, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's still not fair. Should have run it three times. I said I'm not gonna look to see if I had a spade. I knew I had. I knew I had a black card. And, and now he said I'm not gonna look if I have a spade. What's he and talking about? Jungleman fought. He had it both. Yeah, of course. Oh, come on. I'm I don't know what. A, six and a half. That felt I, wrong. I, I, one did one Alec half. actually? He's saying he didn't know what he had. No, he did not know oh, if he, he had did. a spade. That's yeah. what he said. Ace ten. But he knows he's got a ten. Biggest winners in the big game right now, Phil Locke. He's been the big winner since early on. However, Giovanni, he is under Tony G's record that he was going for. Going for still a great win. Ignat still at the table. So is JP and Dominicas has now turned what was a, a pretty rough day into a great win. Yeah. Dominicas definitely uh, he got lucky in that pot with Phil, but from then it was it was just smooth sailing, just. A lot of well-timed aggression. Andy Mosley was on that list too, and he played awesome. He played awesome as well. Fun to watch. Uh -oh. This is now like this is uh, Nielsen's going home. Well, because JP has watched, has uh, raised like I'd say three out of the last uh, six or seven pots. Yep. I'm surprised to really just calls here because of that. It's just. I don't think. You yeah. don't think Nielsen get away from this? He's actually now got 10k back, he so. He could. <clears throat> he could. JP's looking at his. Stack. How much is Torelli's got 50? I mean, I think maybe if it had been three bet earlier. Right. But honestly, he could get off of it. Honestly, it, when, when more money gets in, is is he supposed to call with He's two nines? Raise. I don't know. Click. He clicked. He clicked. Damn it. Actually, now he can get away from it. That looks so strong to me. When you click a short stack like that, it looks so strong. It's not the same. I mean, you know, this is his big test. It's only two nines. Like, you don't want to. Sh I mean, if you shove. Well, he's uh, going for it. Damn it. Yeah, I thought so. Nine. Maybe. I don't know. I, I guess it worked. To me, that looks so strong, but it does give the illusion of fold equity when you shove the nines there. But what is he really folding there? Nothing. He's gambling the ace queen, the, the ace jack, probably even. I don't know. I don't like the show up there. Wow, and check that out. If I mean, how broke does Torelli go? Uh, I mean, I don't know how much he loses, but he loses a bit on that board. He just flat it probably like six or seven K. Two cards. <laughs> that's it for Nielsen. Well, that's his first bullet anyway. Yep. I, I think that this game may be a little tough. He might not want to rebuy. We'll see. We'll see if he wants. Yep, he's going to top up. JP Kelly flexing his muscle at this table and extending his lead to within touching distance of the 40K mark. Phil Locke, despite a few setbacks, is still the man to beat. 
while at the other end of the table, the jungle man is struggling to see the wood for the trees. The game is now moving into the final few hours. Plenty of new faces and old friends waiting in the wings for their chance to make a name for themselves. Others are contemplating the ticking clock and the opportunity to turn a losing situation around, and for some to write their names in the record books in the Party Poker Big Game 6.